Good morning and welcome to another day on the vlog and our journey home to Alaska. Uh, we had a great night at Ben's mom's last night. Uh, got caught up and visited with family. It's always a good thing to be able to do that. Now we find ourselves in Ontario, California. So guys, we're pretty excited to announce that we have formed a partnership with Yokohama Tire and we have the honor of reviewing and testing some Geolanders, which are their truck tires. And we are here at their corporate facility in California to pick up our tires at Will Call. Yeah, there it is. I see it right here. Will Call and Express Deliveries only. Nice. Man, this truck turns on a dime. It sure does. That was kind of fun. <laughs> we even sound like a delivery truck. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> All right, so our truck's new shoes, Yokohama Geolander, all terrains, G015 is the series, load range E. Uh, the truck takes 315-75 R16 tires. So these are a pretty big tire for a pretty big truck. That is a tight fit. Barely made it. Yeah, five tires <laughs> and hopefully no scuff marks. Now we know how many tires can fit in our truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't reveal our code. Alright. Goodbye, Yokohama. And hello, Pacific Tire in Ontario here. Uh, it's proven to be kind of difficult getting. Uh, these tires put on because there's a lot of factors with our truck. Uh, number one, it's heavy, 12,500 pounds. Number two, we need to torque the lug nuts to uh, 300 pounds, not like with the impact gun, but with an actual torque wrench. And not too many places have uh, had all the uh, capabilities to uh, put tires on this truck. <laughs> Well, these guys are pretty amazing. It's almost like having a pit crew work on the truck. Three of them just attacked it and uh, getting these tires mounted and balanced in a very short time. All right, if you're wondering why did we go with the Geolander G015 all-terrain tires? Well, you know what? A couple videos ago, I talked about you know, getting older and making more practical decisions. And you know what? Mud terrain tires are very, very sexy and they perform well off-road. Now the Yokohama mudders, they perform well on-road, but we were looking for something that was going to give us long tread life and we are going to test these things off-road, but you know what? Mud terrain tires are a very performance-minded tire and they tend to wear out quicker. And we also wanted the uh, extreme winter weather capabilities that these tires offer because we are heading home to Alaska and, you know, winter is still very present up there. <laughs> One other reason why we chose these is because if you tow like a fifth wheel or a travel trailer as your RV, these Geolander uh, G015 all trains can go on your tow vehicle. So you're gonna have to stay tuned and subscribe and all that for you know long-term reviews, but trust me, we are gonna be putting these tires to the test, guys. So here's another odd little uh, tip about our truck. All the uh, tires, wheels I should say, on the driver's side are reverse thread. 
which can be a little confusing because your mind sometimes automatically goes righty tighty lefty loosey. Well, things were not completely uneventful here. Uh, when doing the driver's side, like I said, reverse thread, it's a problem. And over the years, people have hit these going the wrong way. And uh, last time I had the tires rotated, we had one stud that maxed out at 180 pounds before it started spinning. I could live with that. But you know what? Now we have one that's completely stripped and one that's halfway stripped. So out of our six lugs, we're operating on four and a half. And that's not gonna cut it. And go figure, it's Friday afternoon at three o'clock. Perfect timing. Well guys, you want a dose of reality? Here it is. The tires felt great once we got them put on. Um, there was a vibration in the brakes that I noticed uh, you know when we were about to like get onto the freeway at that stoplight and I was like oh wow but you know there is a very odd vibration when we hit the brakes the sensation would be compared to like warped rotors or warped drums but those don't just happen like that so I don't think it's warped rotor or warped, warped drums because the front has drums um, we do have one lug nut that's not on, uh, and I got to thinking, well, eh, I guess there's like a chance, you know, it's steel, all the metals not expanding properly. There is also a mild vibration at freeway speeds, like uh, 45 to 50. Um, but yeah, it really got me thinking, and I know I'm kind of rambling on here, but I also got to thinking like, okay, so there was that one stud that was just spinning and we had to get a pry bar and just put a little pressure against the uh, tire to the stud so that we could get that nut off. But it was just such mild pressure, but then you're thinking, okay, well, I guess there's a chance that could have uh, messed things up. But then, and it's so awesome having the previous owner, Dave, as a resource. He owned this truck for years. And you all know the knowledge and experience you gain from years of ownership. And there's so many things that we're just learning on our own through default of just being in it, driving the miles. And I imagine we're probably experiencing new things because we're in this thing to people 24 hours a day since July. So we have learned a lot, but okay, back to it. I hit up Dave and he said, you know what? It may sound completely weird, especially since you would think like wheel weights would have nothing to do with braking, but what's going on, and he said it's happened to him twice, the wheel weights need to be repositioned. So we found a place, our truck is unique, and I hope it's the right place. I called ahead, make sure that they could lift it off the ground, and the torque wrench issue, you know, we carry a torque wrench as well, but it's always, Good to know if a shop has one. That means they're kind of familiar with working on heavier duty vehicles. So I kind of asked that as a, a little test question. Uh, but their name is Unique Tires and Wheels. And I think we qualify as unique. And I really want to just get this resolved. Hey, this looks like a good place. It looks like a good start. Yeah. The is on the right. I really hope these wheel weights just need to be repositioned. I got something to show you guys once we get them off. All right, let's see if we're on the right track. Wow, this thing's way around. All right. There's the wheel. Oh, dude. Seriously. Mm -hmm. There's rub marks right there. Let's see if I can get the camera on it. Yeah. Dude, there's the source of our problem. So basically, we got to keep it out here. Yeah. Because it, it goes up. Uh, well, I see evidence that the uh, previous wheel weights were on the inside. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's a good sign, man. It feels really good that we found this problem and that it's cheap. Cheap is a good thing. So, not upset with the last tire shop. They had no idea that due to the nature of this vehicle, the wheel weights needed to be in a specific position. I did not know that because this is the first time we have balanced uh, tires and 
uh, got new tires on this vehicle. So it's quite fascinating through the uh, process of traveling in, living in, owning an RV expedition vehicle, whatever you want to call it. You know, we'll just call it an RV for a generic term. There's a tremendous learning curve to know all the intricacies, quirks and characteristics and fine points and tips on a vehicle. And dare I say, it's probably far better off that we're learning this stuff on this side of the pond instead of some far reaching parts of Asia, Africa, or you know, Central America, which is on our schedule. You know, once everything in life is in order, we are gonna be going overseas. And um, every day is a learning experience, guys. And I'm sure a lot of you who own RVs can attest to every time you get something new, it, the learning curve just starts all over. And even after owning uh, Nelly, our last one, every now and then something new still came up and uh, challenged me. But I'm really happy that, and knocking on wood, that this is hopefully gonna be a very cut and dry issue. And I can give you a, a good feel of uh, these new Yokohama Geolanders. So the guys here at the tire shop uh, said their weights have a, a fairly high profile and they said just to eliminate this problem since it seemed to, to be common and I even just spoke with Dave and he said that the last tire shop he used said they were going to try this if they had difficulty balancing the wheels but I guess these are like sand bags and they're very popular in semis and commercial trucks. I don't know if I'm out of the loop or don't have enough experience with heavy duty things, but I guess this is a proven technology. But the downfall means we have to dismount all the tires again. So if this solves the problem and this is proven technology, hey, I'm all for it, guys. So now for this wheel stud issue. That was going to happen sooner or later, depending on who took off the wheel again. So that like seriously it was just gonna happen but we do have wheel studs but I only have one for the driver side and one for the passenger side but Dave gave me a lead of a place here in uh, south of LA that sells Mitsubishi Fuso parts and I could probably get these parts pretty quick guys all right thanks guys all right moment of truth guys Oh, the brake pedal already feels better. Good. All right, no cars coming. Let's do this. All right, and third gear good enough. Let's hit the brakes. Oh, yes, guys. Yes. Oh, one of two problems has been solved. I held up two fingers. One of two problems has been solved. <laughs> All right, we are about 60 miles on down the highway from the tire shop and very pleased to report that things are feeling back to normal. The guys told us um, not to be surprised if it would take a couple of days for everything to settle out and feel right uh, because those little sandbags they put in have to rupture and settle into the tires. But it is feeling fantastic. We've done some rough California roads, we've done some nice California roads, and it doesn't really matter, it feels good again. So, uh, we're really looking forward to sharing more with you about these tires, kind of the technology, and our review of them over the next few months. Um, they are rated for severe weather, and we anticipate getting to test that feature out on the drive home this spring. Uh, they also have a really long tread life, which is something we thought was a fantastic feature for obvious reasons. And on that note, we cannot thank Yokohama Tires enough for hooking us up here. We are so excited about this and really looking forward to what this partnership holds in the future. So, on that note, we are headed north to Alaska this spring, back home. If you are not already subscribed, hit that button so you can ride along with us. And we'll see you tomorrow.